So you're looking for guidance on this 15 mark question, the very last question you'll answer in your Unit 4 Edexcel paper. You're happy with all the other context-based questions, you, you've nailed the 5, the 8, the 10 and the 12, you just want to finish this 15. In truth, the structure of this 15 mark is a bit like the 10 and the 12, with some very, very minor, subtle differences, but essentially the same kind of structure. We can be more definite, it's going to be a discuss evaluation-based question, the key thing is not the word discuss, it's that it's an evaluation based question. So that means you need to make some KAA points, you also need to make some evaluation points. I recommend making three KAA points. This is a, a difference from the other two uh, questions, the 10 and the 12 that have gone before it. Here I recommend making three instead of the two I said before. And that's because if you look at the mark breakdown, you still got two marks for knowledge as we had in the last video for the 12 marker, still two for application, but now five marks available for analysis. So a key differentiator in this question is you really writing in depth, explaining everything. Now because there are so many marks available, nine marks in total for your KAA, I would recommend you making three points to safeguard yourself. Safety numbers certainly for this question I'd recommend. And in the time you have, I think that's very easy, not difficult. A lot of the points are in the case study anyway. So let's uh, be more specific. How do you get the marks? Well for knowledge, you can get a maximum of two marks so in your three paragraphs, you're looking to define your key terms. Uh, defining two key terms will get your two marks where you've done it in your paragraphs. But more likely, it's going to be for identification of factors or identification of reasons, capped up to two. So if you do three reasons, you won't get three marks, you'll just get two. But make it clear that you're identifying reasons. Do that twice and you've got your two marks for knowledge. Application will get you two marks. So what you're looking to do here is explicitly quoting two things from the case study material. Again, I would do three, one for each paragraph, one for each point you're making. Make a, a specific reference to the case study material. Explicitly quote something, and that will bank your two marks for application. That should be very easy. And for your analysis marks, you're looking for depth of explanation. Because it's worth five marks here, I know you're writing three points, three paragraphs. Still write in depth. Assume nothing from the examiner. Safeguard yourself. So really here you're looking at 2 plus 2 plus 1. You could, if you wanted to, just write 2 points and go for uh, 3 plus 2 in terms of analysis on your points, but I think safe is better. 3 points, 2, 2 and 1, take it easy, write in depth and you know you're going to score the 5 marks for analysis. I think with 9 marks to play with, I wouldn't take any risks. I would write 3 paragraphs for sure and write in detail. Right, once you've done your three KA points, you're looking to make some evaluation points. And I would recommend here you doing three evaluation points because there are six marks available for evaluation. And again, it's the last question in the paper, why take risks? You can write two, and if you wrote two, you're looking for three marks for each point. But what if one isn't quite exactly as you want it to be? Having a third just safeguards you. So my recommendation is making three points. You could just do two, it's up to you completely. Um, so the points you make, again, you need to explain those in depth. Don't hold back. Chains of analysis, depth of explanation, show the examiner you understand everything. There will be something in the case study you can quote for every point that you make for sure. So applying it, quoting from the case study material is going to help you maximize the marks per point in evaluation. That's it for the 15 marker. You follow that and you're going to do really well. Uh, hopefully now you think Unit 4 is not that bad a paper, a lot of technique in it, a huge amount of technique in it, but a lot of similar technique. So if you've watched all these videos now, hopefully you can rock this Unit 4 exam. Really good luck to you. Thanks so much for watching these videos. I will see you next time.